Boss, me the chalice, me the earth smoke flow through my body. I wait my soul for me show my talent. The most I and I chat, I ain't afraid of nobody. Yes, I rascally and talking, you know me? Yeah, man. Keep it tired, you know? Yeah, you forget all them something here, you tell me. I want to hear a quick story in the album, you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Talk about the girl with the myth, mate, and talk about the, the realities, mate, and the dip, dog. Them something here, mate, people want, dog. Yeah, yeah. Tell your story, dog. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Say, like, what you're telling me, man, my picture, musical, and everything. You know, say it's funny you say that because you know, say I not even remember about the girl and all the shit. I'm not telling you. I never remember about them things just now, man. Talk about Florida. Rastafari, I'm shining, I'm pressing, and equal, I'm fucking, I'm the perfect balance and eternal life. Rastafari, I'm pretty so busy, like fuck, I'm king of kings, a lot of blood, I'm conquering life, I'm a tribe of Judah. Rastafari, select guy, run the chocolate. Leave Lisa, I'm a big up in seven years, six to seven years. Alright, I want everybody to just listen to me. Yeah, man, my name is actually Jordan Kyle Warner. Um, Actually, Kyle is how I got Ras Kyle on because <clears throat> I link Kyle with Lion, with Leon, which means Lion in Latin. See? Um, put it together is Kylie and, and then I got the term Ras from of course it's um it's a it's a title in Ethiopia, right? It means prince or head of government, right? Yeah, so um or head creator is a matter of fact, you know what I mean? So um Ras Kylie you know what I mean in my the way how I mean to interpret it is Prince Kylie and isn't it? Or we use the Ethiopian because I don't know so he's Rastafari, is me? And I'm actually from Jamaica. I was born in St. James. Um moved here. I was I didn't stay there of course. I moved here when I was still a baby to Kingston. Stayed here till I was seventeen years old. Yeah. And um went to college. Is me? Finished up college over there. Is me? And then I stayed over there for the total time I was over there for was actually about 10 or 11 years, you know what I mean? I didn't really come back in between those times. I was over there for a good minute still, you know? It was a, definitely an experience, you know what I mean? That's what made me a man, <laughs> you dig? But, yeah, just moved back home. Like last year, I moved back home last year. That was 2017, so, yeah. I've um, been on the grind for the music thing ever since, you know what I mean? Yeah man, well, as far as I can remember ever since a young age, the, as far as I can remember, I've always loved music, as cliche as that may sound, right? I remember getting my first warp man when I was around seven years old or so, and um, it's, it was like the best thing for me, you know what I mean? Like, it's nothing anybody else would get me could have tapped that. You know what I mean? I'd always have my headphones on. You see? You see like I'll, when I get in trouble and thing, if the walkman them would have take away. <laughs> right? You know, usually them would have take away the, like, the, the, the game or something or tell you you can't watch TV or something. And I wasn't even really into that at the time. You know what I mean? It's just walkman. You see me? Yeah. Um, but then, yeah man, and then it just slowly evolved into other things, you know, like I remember I used to sell CDs in school, you know, the latest albums that would come out, you know what I mean, burn them off and sell them for a little cash, you know? And then going over to college now, or finishing up high school, going into college, I would, um, I got into DJing, you know what I mean? Like selecting, you know, I started learning that and, um, I had some bridgings and things who had some links with some acapellas and things, you know what I mean? Um, so I take that and take instrumentals and all of them things and I'll put together some remixes, you know, <laughs> you know? And I'd make little CDs and things. I remember in college I'd make CDs, you know, like all the black Chinese CD them. Well, yeah, man, we did have one named Dan Shady, you see me? That was my selector name, Dan Shady, you see me? And um, I did have a couple CDs, man, and then we'd jam out through the college still, you know? 
And then at that time as well, coming into college, I got into beat making. Even through high school too, but college is when I really started to know what I was, kind of know what I was doing. You see me? Um, and then, you know, say somewhere along the line, I don't even know. It's just, I, I think, I, I would always write, you see me? Um, and then somewhere along the line, I'll just start, like, rapping, I guess, you know? So, the kids in college and thing, them would have been playing like all the instrumentals and thing because I have kids in college who do music too and thing and then them figure out some make beats, you know what I mean? Start make beats for a couple of them, you see me? And then make some tunes and then them figure out, say, yo, like one time I was messing around when they were freestyle and I just jump in and start freestyle too and they must say, yo, you see me? Oh, you're so silent, you see me? Oh, you're so quiet and you can spit all, all of those bars, you see me? I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean, it's just something that I wrote down, you know, but and it just eventually evolved, man, it just eventually evolved into what it is now, it's just jaw works, I can't really tell you what it is, <laughs> you know, it's just a feeling inside me, you see me, like if I don't do music, I start getting miserable, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's funny, you know. I was always a, a youth that was somewhat, somehow connected to music. Always had something going on musically within his life. I remember he started out DJing. And um, I remember being taken aback by how he was able to make certain remixes, um, infusing, you know, hip hop and dancehall and reggae and um, from them days I, I, I knew that musically he was very inclined very talented guy um, I remember he went to Florida after that he even he started rapping like hip hop rapping and um, I remember hearing a couple of him songs and I mean like, yeah man, this, this man, this man has to do something in the music field, it doesn't matter where it is, what it is, what genre, what what kind of, if I'm playing an instrument or whatever it may be, I always knew that you, da brother, you have to be in music, involved in music in some way, somehow, so I'm not even surprised to see the direction that he's taken now. Yes, I fight. Oh, la na, ah, oh, la na, ah, ah. Pass me the chalice, let the earth smoke flow through my body. I wave my soul for my show, my talent. The most I and I chat, I ain't afraid of nobody. Don't come a let's come a bun system way down to ashes. Come from a bloodline full of history, but in school, them teach I and I never start. The funny thing is. I mean, all right, how I found it, you could have said when I went away, um, I don't know, I guess I had some kind of a spiritual awakening, I guess, you know what I mean, this is around 17, 18 years old, um, and for some reason, I did start reading the Bible a little bit, you know what I mean, this is how it started, you see me, and um, I must say, all right, I say something, some things back then I really never understand what it was saying, you know. So that really kind of made me look into uh, Christianity and even other religions as well, you know what I mean? Uh, Muslim and thing. I, I looked into those just to see what they were about. I was just curious, you see me? And um, as far as all Christianity and thing, I really never, you can say I never overstand um how or why they would the, the modern day Christ, christianity the western roman catholic and baptist and anglican and them how, how they were founded you understand like it's founded off a murder really isn't it like from the crusades i mean then you go to this bridging name um i think his name was like uh, john newton or so and the, the same tune as according to my research, is it the same tune what them be singing in church 
Um, amazing grace, you see me? Him write it and him was a slave driver and thing, you start finding that out so and then now you look even deeper into it and then you find out say the original Christianity was in Ethiopia from the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, you dig? And um that was the original before these other versions of it. You get what I'm saying? And it was actually um a, a different practice. The practice, you know, like it's not what you see out here, you see me even to this day if you go over into Ethiopia, you see me? And then you find out so the book is written by Israelites for Israelites later on, you know what I mean? You find out say Emperor Haile Selassie I know is the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, which is one of the twelve tribes of the Israelites, you get what I'm saying? And then you find out say he's directly linked to the seed of David, the root of David and King Solomon. Like literally it's in the legend, you know, you can look it up, you know? And you find out all of them things and I, I guess my spiritual awakening uh correlated with that. You know what I mean? And maybe maybe it's because I'm from Jamaica too, you see me like that is what is exposed to us out here, you get what I'm saying? Like you see the Ethiopia or the um old Ethiopian flag, the original Ethiopian flag. Probably even more than you see the Jamaican flag, you get what I'm saying? Like it's all over the place, you dig? So probably that has something to do with it too. But um yeah, I guess you can say that is our founder stuff for us. When 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 Ross even started growing locks, <laughs> that didn't surprise me at all. You know what I mean? Because even when Amanda didn't have locks, Amanda was just had had certain idealistic approaches to life that it just you knew you knew that he was heading in a certain direction. So yeah, definitely, definitely can't wait to see what the, the, the future holds for a man like Raskalian. All right. Well, my style of music, I guess you could say, is like a urban hip hop mixed with the with the reggae, you see me like the original reggae, you know me? Uh I mean my inspiration come from Tupac, Nas, uh, Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, um New People, Kendrick Lamar, actually, you know I mean that's my favorite right now. J. Cole. Nipsey Hussle, you know. Um, I like that kind of music. I like I like the hard sounding music with a message. You understand? So all of those artists I just named a while ago, they all have a message in the music that is progressive. You overs. Um, <clears throat> and then as far as you know, the Jamaican side, of course, you know, Peter Tash, Bob Marley, you know what I mean. Better yet, you can say all of yeah, every artist that represents Rastafari still I support, isn't it? Um, Sizzla, Cape Latin, um, Turbulence, you know what I mean? Um, Proto J, Chronix, uh, Kabaka Pyramid, you know what I mean? Like, the list goes on, you know, the list goes on. Assassin, Assassin, you can't believe you never say Assassin first. <laughs> but yeah, the list goes on though, you know? and. Of course, naturally, the music I make is going to derive from all of those, uh, all of those influences. So, yeah, that's the best way I can explain it. Still, take a listen and give your opinion. Maybe you might think it sounds like something. <laughs> and then, um, I mean. What sets me apart from other artists? I mean, everybody is an individual, isn't it? Everybody is an individual, yo. So, everybody has their own unique perspective of the world through their own unique experiences. You understand? Where they're from, right? Their culture, 
is going to determine what kind of beat they put their uh, lyrics or their thoughts on. You understand? So, uh, as I said, for example, with me, you know, a band in Yard, um, pretty much, you know, spent a lot of time in America. So, those two cultures mesh in one, you know what I mean? You know, I, I'm pretty sure over in like Asia, they have their own little culture, you see me? And people over there, I'm sure, have things to say as well that are important, you see me? But you probably not gonna hear them, maybe, you see me? You might not hear them on a trap beat or a hardcore reggae beat, you know what I mean? But some of them do, which is the beauty of reggae. It's international, yeah. Yeah, man. My latest project is, or you can say, it's actually my first project. It's um, Rubble, you know. It's going to be released soon. I already shot the video already and thing. <clears throat> Have the master and everything. Big up natural eye music, you know what I mean? But yeah, Rubble. And it's a song about, um, yeah, man, it's about the struggle, you know. People might say, people might say it's uh, unorthodox, I guess, if that's the correct term, because I, I, I come from uptown, you see me? But, I mean, I, I don't expect, I don't go through the Gideon already. I'm pretty sure everybody is going to go through the Gideon at some point in their life. You know what I'm saying? I, I born and grow up town, yes, but <clears throat> when, when I, I leave for foreign, it's a different thing, you see me? Anybody who go to foreign and go foreign by themselves and them not a family over there or don't know anybody over there, they'll know what I'm talking about, you see what I'm saying? And then you start over there and my people, them wasn't the people, them you could all shout and say, yo, book back me need the money, you see me? My people, them don't work like that, you understand? If I, they would actually help me with advice. <laughs> It's a, it, and I'm not mad at that at all, you know what I mean? So because the experiences I went through made me a man, you know what I mean? And I do, I like the man that I've become, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what the single is on, it's about the struggle, you know what I mean? And it talks about like, a, in the first part, a, a bringing the fact that I owe school loans, you see me? A lot of money in school loans is a matter of fact which I really need to start paying but um and then um you talk about stories like the brother want to go to church you know what I mean but him have an he, he doesn't have on a suit you see me he's not properly addressed or properly attired you see me and him go in and church the church man turn him around you see me and these are like true stories you know what I mean um so <clears throat> And I just, it's, I put it out there, you know what I mean? It's just my perspective, you see me? Like, for example, with the church thing. I, I'm not a church man, you know what I mean? My family, my parents didn't go to church, I didn't go to church, you see me? Unless it was a wedding or something. But, um, I hear these stories from other people with their experiences, you know what I mean? And with the church, and you read in the Bible and thing, and, the church is supposed to be like the sanctuary for everybody, you see me? So I don't understand just because I'm though dressed in a certain attire means I can't <laughs> go into the church, you see me? Like, that, isn't that vanity, you see me? Like, but um, yeah, it just addresses certain situations like that that, you know, I feel needed addressing. Typical revolutionary stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, so I didn't think they might defend you, see me? Yeah, man. Emperor Ali Selassie, I just Rastafari. Well, the part that we played in the Rubble single is production, and I, I mixed the track too. Big up Tall Man, he built the rhythm. And I think it worked just like how we regularly work with Kylie, and he sent us an idea. You know, we built up a rhythm around that, what we thought would suit the vibe and what he wanted to accomplish. And yeah, we did the production. I took care of the mix, make sure so everything is in check, nice and dubby with the hip hop flair, same way. So yeah, that's what we did with the production.
Yeah, man, the man, they always beast with that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, we try to make it loud and heavy, you know, as possible. Mm -hmm. I think that working with Kylian is very organic for us because it's our version from a long time, you know, so we grow in a certain way, we're on the same page, and uh, natural high, we mainly specialize in reggae, and he's trying to create a fusion with reggae and hip hop. So we also are all lovers of hip hop here. So I think that working with him is really easy and, and it's natural, you know? It's just kind of like hanging out and making beats with your brethren, burn a few spliffs and just hold a vibe. Yeah, man, you can always find me online. I don't have a website currently, but soon. You can find me on the SoundCloud. You can find me at Reverb Nation or Facebook or Instagram at Raskylion. So that's R A S K Y L E O N. <coughs> um, yeah, man. I'm going to follow through on things, isn't it? Things just starting up, them getting on the up and up and thing now, which I'm very grateful for. Give thanks for that. Um, so, yeah. I know say Rastafarian is a new thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man, Rastafarian, you don't know still. You don't know, say the shop boss himself, you don't know, is it? We represent Rastafarian. You don't know them one day I don't use it from long time, and them one day I come from far, is it? So, I just want people them just look out for him, album, look out for him, song, for him, traffic, is it? They don't know say yo, you know the rug, it's a normal thing. I and mean, I come from long time, you see me? And they bring positivity to the world, you know what I mean? To the music and we just want the people to embrace that, you know what I mean? Because we know say yo, Raskali and I come from over the regular market. So they don't know, peace. Man, the first time I met Rasta, I was working at a liquor store by his crib and he came in. Buy some liquor. Next thing you know, he's, he's my new week in that. Because he had that fire, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't pass it up. Plus, he's a real motherfucking dude, you know? I mean, he's real, 100%. No bullshit. Great people. My man Rasta. Stay pushing, pimping. <laughs> What's up? This is your girl Selectra Smiley with the Everlasting Sound, hailing from New Jersey currently. I'm from the Virgin Islands and I had the privilege of meeting Raskai on my freshman year of college, which was in 2008. That's 10 years ago. Don't feel that long because honestly when I met him, he was one of those people that I felt like I knew them already. Um, and to be able to be a part of his growth has truly been an honor. When I think back on a lot of our college memories and seeing how far his growth has come, not only as an artist, but as an individual, I'm very honored to have witnessed that. He played a very crucial role in my life. My freshman year of college, being in a new place, coming from a small island, and then meeting somebody that kind of was going through the same thing. We both had a heap of loans, so we both empathized with each other on that. Um, I, I remember when he got his first car and how happy I was because I used to remember us talking about, you know, when, when that time comes, he will get a car, and to see it come to life was awesome. And since then, he's always been a very loyal, and reliable friend. He he helped me move off of campus into my first apartment and he's always kept it real with me and I always kept it real with him and I honestly feel like that's the main core of why our friendship lasts so long. And I, I can't wait to see what else he does. And I look forward to continually pushing this my music because that's the whole point of me becoming a DJ was to push my friends and to push the music that I feel that people need to hear instead of this mm, I don't even want to call it rap because I don't even feel like it's rap anymore but um you don't hear 
lyrical talent anymore, in my opinion. So, to be a part of Ras Kylie on Journey is very, very um, humbling and it's very honorable. And I hope the world is ready and look out because Smiley gonna be playing them tunes left and right. And don't give up Ras Kylie because your time coming soon. Select your smiley sesso.